Okay, so uh, this is another Laravel episode, and I'm just going to share the updated steps to install the latest Laravel 12 in local in your local machine. And we will be using Laravel Sale to easily pull off the Laravel framework. And Laravel Sale is using Docker container. That means we're going to install Docker Desktop as well, just like before, which I believe the easiest way to start working with Laravel locally. And most importantly, it's free. And of course, we also gonna have to enable the Windows subsystem for Linux or WSL since I'm using Windows OS here. So we will be able to use Ubuntu within Windows. But if you're working with Mac OS, you're good to go already after installing the Docker desktop. You can skip the WSL part since Mac is Unix based operating system. Okay. To start the process, go ahead and visit docker.com right here. And down here we have our installers and for Mac we have uh, two different installers here uh, depending on which hardware your Mac currently has. Uh, if you're using Apple Silicon or Intel chip, uh, pick one. And also Docker supports Windows AMD64 and Windows ERM64 architectures. So if you're not familiar with the aforementioned, uh, go ahead and search Docker AMD versus ARM64. Do a quick read here and you'll learn something new uh, about the difference between AMD64 and ARM64 architectures. Okay, I'll go ahead and close this tab here and go back here. I'll pick mine AMD64 since I'm using OS. Uh, Windows and I have an Intel processor. So if you're using AMD processor, um, this also is uh, suitable with your um, hardware. Okay. Go ahead and download this. I've already downloaded this um, installer. So once uh, you downloaded this uh, installer, uh, go ahead and um, Double click the, the installer. Go ahead and uncheck this um, checkbox here because I'll show you how you can manually install on WSL uh, using PowerShell um, command line. Okay. Hit OK button here. Now, um, I'll wait until this um, installation is completed or succeeded. So I'll go ahead and pause this recording and just um, go back after this um, installation is finished, okay? Okay, so after uh, the installation is succeeded or completed, um, it will ask you to close this um, window here and restart your computer. I'll, I'll go ahead and close and restart my computer here. All right, so I have just restarted my computer. This window here will be popped up and it will ask you to accept the Docker subscription service agreement. And just go ahead and click the accept button here. So here I'll just click skip and skip. And then um, I'll just close this one here. Now open start and then search for PowerShell and make sure you have to right click this to run Windows PowerShell as an administrator. And then here we are going to say WSL dash dash um, install. So now it's downloading Windows subsystem for Linux 2.5.9. As you can see and notice here, it's also downloading the Ubuntu distribution. All right, so uh, if this window 
pops up just close this one and here it's asking you to create a user a name for uh, your Ubuntu account I'll go ahead and say devil here enter and then this also will ask you to enter password I'll enter mine here all right so make sure you remember the new password that you've entered here okay I'll go ahead and close this one and go back to our uh, Ubuntu uh, I mean docker desktop and go to settings and general um, right here make sure you check this use the WSL2 based engine apply and restart okay it's staying too long I'll just cancel that see so it says a, a virtual machine platform not enabled so run this one in the PowerShell let's go ahead and open the PowerShell and right click run as administrator so paste it here okay so now let's restart our computer I'll go ahead and restart my computer here restart all right so I've restarted my computer so I'll go ahead and open docker desktop again all right so go back and go back to the settings click here and so here we go uh, it's enabled use the uh, WSL2 based engine now go to resources WSL integration make sure this is checked or enabled and then apply and restart all right so now um, go back to generals just close and open our Ubuntu here so let's check if our docker command is available already here in our Ubuntu environment say docker info once once you can see this um, details here from from docker um, you're good to go already all right okay so now let's clear this and to install laravel uh, framework all you have to do is say curl dash s and then http s and then laravel dot build and then slash the name of the folder or the project lara v12 i'll name mine lara v12 and then i'll just need um maria db uh redis and mem cache so if you don't put uh with query uh uri query here uh, Laravel sale we're going to install or create containers docker containers for the default applications and there are several d default applications and then after that um, use pipe and then bash uh, why bash because this URL here will generate um, a bash script shell script so this should be running with bash all right so I'll go ahead and enter this one 
by the way, if you don't want to uh, create your Laravel application within your Ubuntu's uh, root directory, and instead you want to manage your Laravel files from within your Windows drive, you can just you can just uh, navigate to your Windows uh, drive. To do that, all you have to do is cd um, mount and then c. Now you have you are in drive C. C. If you want to create a folder here, all you have to do is say make directory or mkdir, and then I'll try to say apps and ls. So now you have your apps folder. Now I'll enter that apps folder cd apps and clear so now i'm within uh, drive c apps folder drive c apps folder so i'll execute this command here so meaning uh, this lara v12 here will be um, created within apps folder so there will be there should be lara 12 folder after the installation is completed okay let's go ahead and enter this all right, so now it's pulling all the latest images. I'll go ahead and pause this recording. All right, so once you reach this point, meaning we're almost done, so all we need to do here is enter the password, the Ubuntu password that you have created earlier. That's why I was telling you that you need to remember that password because you need that once you first install um, Laravel framework. All right, enter the Ubuntu user password here. Uh, enter mine. All right. So I think we're done installing the Laravel framework. So next thing we need to do is um, enter Laura 12 folder that you've created. CD uh, mine here is Laura 12, and then execute vendor bin sale up. allow close this okay clear now i'll do uh, sale up uh, this time i'll use the dash d uh, argument so um, this will run in the background and just do our thing in the command line here Docker PS. All right. So we have uh, this is important the Mario DB for the next uh, command. So now to make sure that the Laravel will run, uh, because for the first time, if you're going to say localhost, Laravel will give you an error because it's expecting sessions table within your database so as you can see it says uh, internal server error because it's expecting to connect with our database uh, table sessions and this table here isn't available yet within our database uh, mariadb right so to do that we need to say sale php artisan migrate and once migrated go ahead and go back here and refresh so now you have your larvo 12 framework running within your local machine 